To convert angle measure, the easiest thing is to first figure out what fraction of the circle I'm working with. For example, if I'm in 90 degrees, I know I have 90 out of a total 360, which means I have one-fourth of my circle. So now there's a total of 360 degrees or 2 pi rads or 400 grads in a full circle. If I have a fourth of a circle, this means I have one fourth of the possible 2 pi radians or pi over 2 radians. If I have a fourth of a circle, this means I have a fourth of the possible 400 grads or 100 grads. Thus, 90 degrees is the same as pi over 2 radians or 100 grads. Okay. Well, what about if I have 4 radians? 4 radians means I have 4 of the possible 2 pi or 6.28. It really doesn't matter which way you work which can reduce down to 2 over pi. So I have this fraction of a circle. To find out how many degrees that is, I take 2 pi times 360. That gives me 720 pi, or I can go ahead and just find out what decimal that is. It's about 229.18 degrees. If I want to know grads, I take 2 pi times 400. That gives me 800 over pi, or the decimal equivalent, which is 254.65 degrees. Thus, 4 radians is 229.18 degrees, or 2.5 to 54.65 grads. Let's look at the next one. So if you want to, you can try to solve the next four on your own. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to confirm your solution. Okay, next I have grads. If I have 150 grads, that means I have 150 four hundredths of a circle. which is, I already know, to be 3 eighths, or if you want the decimal equivalent, 0 0.375. I essentially have 37.5% of the circle. I take that number, times it by 2 pi to find the radians, and multiply by 360 to find degrees. 3 eighths times 2 pi gives me 3 pi over 4 radians, and 3 eighths times 360 will end up giving me 135 degrees. So 150 grads is the same as either, either 3 pi over 4 radians or 135 degrees. Let's look at the next one, negative 115 degrees. This means I have a negative 115 360ths of a circle, which is about 0 0.319. So I have 31.9% of the circle. I take this number and multiply it by 2 pi to find the radians, and multiply by 400 to find grads. Well, multiplying by 2 pi gives me about 2.007 radians. And then, let's see, if I multiply by 400, I get 127.78 grads. That's the same as 115 degrees.